I'm Celia Peachy, I'm an artist and activist. I think it's phenomenal, I think it's imperative and it's an honour to be part of Peace One Day because I think it's a major step forward in the truth of the fact that we are born to live in harmony with one another. Peace signifies to me unity and harmony for all people. My family and friends they're always there to support me and help me be the best me I can possibly be. The reason I'm getting involved is because I suffered the loss of my mum due to the fact that she was killed by a convicted killer and let down by the system at large. And I have looked at my own patterns of behaviour and my own reason for being here and I choose to, to, to break those patterns and stand in unity with people that want to be part of the change because that's life affirming and the reason that we're here. I found out about my mum's death 15 minutes after leaving a Vipassana meditation retreat so I had a space I believe between stimulus and response and I've been ever since responding very creatively. So it's actively campaigning with charities such as Refuge for a public inquiry into state failure. I've been working with um, DA Forum and many others to go into schools and teach healthy relationship education and, and the importance of communication because not only love but communication and collaboration are the essence of life. So the more I can unite with like-minded people I find I feel a lot more, a lot of happiness and, and a reason to carry on and art and creativity have just been a godsend for me. I meditate and do yoga as much as I can, pretty much every day. Not for long periods of time but I tap in with how I'm feeling and, and listen to myself. And I also journal write, I think that having that dialogue with myself uh, creates a, a real awareness I make, I make a choice every single day, a positive choice, to be kind to myself and every single person that I come into contact with. Ask yourself the question, do you feel safe? And if you feel on edge or you've got butterflies in your stomach when certain people are around or things are being said, violence is an obscure word. I think we've, we've, abuse is a very... It, it hones in on the subtle complexities of domestic violence, which is the mental and emotional erosion of someone's confidence, which I think is where we need to start looking, because that's the, tracing it back to the point of creation. So please speak up. If you feel unease or un, unsafe around someone, ask yourself why, and if that's really the life you want to continue to live, and then speak up, speak to someone, find someone you trust. I believe healthy relationship education. We have to go into schools and, and educate children on what constitutes as abuse and what constitutes as healthy so that we can have a, a clear frame of reference and then someone will know where the line is being crossed and then they can speak up and stand up for themselves in, in, a, in a way that's appropriate for everybody to feel that they can make peace with each other again. To mark Peace Day this year, I am doing a tandem parachute jump. I hope to inspire other people to, to do what they really love, to live on the edge, to, to, to take a leap of faith and just do something dynamic that makes them feel truly alive and share that experience with other people.